Imagine a universe. A universe. Where time moves forwards and backwards. Where you can be in two places at the same time. Where simply looking at something changes everything. Imagine a universe where you create the reality you experience. Now, imagine that you are there in that very strange universe. Because the truth is, you are. The observer effect. You create the reality. Welcome to the observer effect. If you want to see fear in a quantum physicist's eyes, just mention the words, the measurement problem. The measurement problem is this. An atom only appears in a particular place if you measure it. In other words, an atom is spread out all over the place until a conscious observer decides to look at it. So the act of measurement or observation creates the entire universe. I wrote a book on special relativity with an appendix which I devoted to perception and I said that there was an analogy between perception and the way relativity treated things that you, you couldn't, uh, according to relativity, everything was related to the way that you interacted with it to observe it, you see, mm -hmm. and also to, according to quantum mechanics. Right? What is real depends on whether I look and the way I look. And now this is not just a philosophical question. We can see this in experiment. Scientifically, we call it quantum measurement theory and the ultimate inseparability of the observer from the observed. The Copenhagen interpretation basically means that um, reality is unset jello. Copenhagen was the place where Niels Bohr was born and where he set up his own institution. And Bohr was, was flabbergasted by this r recognition that everything was, po was possibilities, probabilities flowing and gooing all over the place until an observer observes and then things come into being. This means that, that deeply enough, and you de dive down into the nature of matter, everything we know about the, the everyday world dissolves. There are no objects anymore. There are only relationships. There's no locality anymore. The meaning of quantum physics uh, is really in terms of giving us a new worldview that shows clearly how consciousness can be and is the ground of our being. In other words, quantum physics enables us to uh, see directly that we can make sense of the world only if we base the world on consciousness. There is something that we can do in our lives, literally influence the physical reality of our world, and that changes everything. It changes everything. I think if we keep quantum physics and the understanding very simple for the layperson, that our observation has a direct effect on our world. I think if we keep it very simple, then people can get about the business of beginning to practice the skill of observation. Everything starts from inside and then goes outside. So you are not pulling things from outside. You are really putting things outside from inside. It is very easy.